Welcome back. Who says Goa is the heaven of drugs? In the last two years, Goa police has only booked 100 cases of drugs at various police stations and the drugs seized are only 137 grams. Interestingly, in the past two years, not a single kilogram of drugs has been destroyed. In the last five years, state has witnessed 190 murders and 148 rapes. Here is a report. Home Minister Ravi Naik told the just concluded assembly that during the year 2009 and 2010, Goa police have booked only 100 cases of drugs. Police arrested 119 persons but confiscated only 137.800 kg of drugs. This is the chart of drugs cases at different police stations. ANC, 33 cases, Kalangut, 16, Anjuna, 16, Pedne, 10, Mapsa, 9, Kankon, 3, Vasco, 3 cases, Bicholi, 3, Kolwa, 2, Railway, 2 cases, Walpoi, 1, Porvori, 1, and Mainakutari, 1. Out of 119 accused arrested by Goa police during 2009 and 2010, 31 are locals, 39 are from other states like Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir. Almost 49 are foreigners, 21 from Nepal, 12 Nigerians, 4 Russians and 4 are Israelis. Ravi Naik has also given figures of the crime record during his tenure since 2007. Theft cases, 3,522, gambling, 2,726, murder, 190, rapes, 148, kidnapping, 118, prostitution, 73, and decoities, 16. Our reporter in Panji, Basuri Desai. Goa State Industries Association has filed a criminal complaint against Chairman of Goa Industrial Development Corporation, Babu Kaurlikar, present managing director Ajit Naik, and former managing director A. V. Palekar. Complaint is filed for illegal allotment of plots causing loss to the state exchequer. Complaint was filed on Friday with DGP, Director of Vigilance, SP North, Panchi Police and Police Station of Verna. Association has also forwarded a copy of the complaint to the Chief Minister Digambar Kamath, Opposition Leader and Secretary of Industries. Association has highlighted various criminal acts in allotting the plots causing huge loss of revenue to the state exchequer. They want to FIR against all including Chairman Babu Kaulekar and other officials including MD and former MD of GIDC. The complaint says GIDC bypassed the laws procedure in allotment of the plots, Vedna industrial estate a major site of irregularities, corruption and bribery involved in the act. The complaint says procedure as prescribed for the allotment of plots has been completely bypassed by the GIDC in active connivance with the lotties of the plots in last five years. A non-exhaustive list of such illegal transfers and allotment is as follows. Allotment of 11,000 square meter plot to Astra Metal Systems Private Limited. Allotment of 12,539 square meter plot to Guru Krupa Logistics. Allotment of 22,500 square meter plot to Technic Controls. Allotment of 35,000 square meter plot to Mr. Santosh Kust Desai. Allotment of 14,628 square meter plot to Elt Steel Modular Products India Private Limited. Allotment of 40,000 square meter plot to Gigabyte Technology. Allotment of 25,000 square meter plot to CMM Logistics Private Limited. Allotment of 20,000 square meter plot to Auto Industries Goa Private Limited. Allotment of 13,532 square meter plot to Gati Limited. Allotment of 50,000 square meter plot to Coastal Infrastructure and Logistics Private Limited. Our reporter Basuri Desai for Prudent Media. The Konkan series of naval exercises between the United Kingdom and India have commenced from 7th October. It will go on till 14th October. The Konkan exercise 2011 is the eighth exercise since 2004. It will be conducted in the Arabian Sea. This training will enable both the Navy fleets to tackle the piracy threat in certain regions and build stability and peace in the region. The Konkan series of exercises requires both the United Kingdom and Indian Navy to periodically exercise at sea and in the harbour to build and share best practices. 
This eighth Konkan series of exercise will be held by both Indian and Royal Navy units in the Arabian Sea. A Truffle Guard class submarine of the Royal Navy will be involved in the training. In addition, with the INS Betwa submarine of the Indian Navy. Uh, as far as piracy is concerned, piracy remains a huge challenge. Uh, I've had occasion to be working with the Royal Navy in the Gulf of Aden when I was on my INS myself. And uh, there is a lot of cooperation that goes on between the two navies. The exercise is aimed in achieving better operability. It will improve the training standards of both the navies. This joint exercise is mainly to maintain peace and stability in the regions. Uh, it's going to be challenging for us and we're looking forward to that challenge um, of working uh, with and also fighting with the, uh, the ships when it's required, but, but also uh, exercising our skills as two navies operating together in this region. The Indian Navy and Royal Navy cooperation is a positive sign of commitment in ensuring maritime security and economic development. Our reporter in Vasco, Surendra Madkekar. Time now for another short break. Stay tuned. Thank you.